Twas the night before kickoff and all throughout the streets. Not a student was sober as they hoped for an Irish defeat. I'm Luke Evangelist with Texags. We are on Northgate ahead of a top 20 matchup between Texas A&M and Notre Dame. And this is the night before. My thing is Pat McAfee, the Pat McAfee show. No, I'm bringing the show to Pat McAfee. The Irish, you ever heard of them? If I'm being honest, this guy should not be talking in the mic right now. <laughs> hey. But if it's going to be me, then I should say myself, Mom, hi, I love you. Can y'all give me your best Irish jig? Should, no. Hey, honest. should I hit the Luke Reed? Hold up, hold up. this bell. Oh, ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. I know that song. Really? Wait, where okay. do you know that? That's a drinking song. But is that one kind of what? Thing ever? Yeah, so what you do is the song plays, and you drink, and you drink, and then you stop. And then the second verse goes, and the next person has to drink, and then when the verse is over, mm -hmm. then the next verse goes, and the third person, and it gets longer and longer. I didn't know that. I thought they just played that like when the baseball team scored. Hey! Finish this lyric for me. Okay, you can't do that to me. You can't no, no, I got you, that. I got you. Oh, ho, the rattling bog. Sounds like an Irish song, so I wouldn't know. Did you go to A&M? Did you watch baseball? Let me sing it again. Oh, ho, the rattling bog. Can't do this. I, didn't, I didn't watch it that much. I don't know the song. You got to give me like a really like football, football. I'm more into football. All right, you're more into football. All right. Okay. okay. Speaking of music, um, what song should AM run out to tomorrow? Power. Hey, bro, I I've been following the crowd. I got five bucks on power. I bro, I need power back. I'm leaving the tailgate 30 minutes early. We're going to see power, bro. Power. Please. Mo Bamba. Power. <laughs> Runaway. Give me power. Oh, great walkout song right there. Power. Mm. Wait, power? Like Justin Bieber power? No, oh. no, like Kanye West power. <laughs> no, 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 no. If I had to guess, it's My Sharona by the Knacks. No. Sexy Red. Oh! What Sexy song? Red. Uh, Ski. Ski. Oh, you trying to see what's up? Ski. Ski. Don't look back. No, no, no. no, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. Hey. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Y'all hear Oasis got back together low key. Hey, pipe down. Don't look back in anger. Where's Lou Holtz? Where's Lou Holtz? All right, I'm here with Packy Murdoch. Patrick Dolan. Joseph Gates. Those are like three of the most Irish names I've ever heard. Where are y'all from? Y'all from Massachusetts or what? Uh, Chicago. Uh, Tipperary, Ireland. Uh, suburbs of Detroit. I could have guessed that. All right, so y'all are clearly three Notre Dame fans, right? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Go Irish, baby. Go, Go Irish. Irish. Class of 2023. I have a question. Did y'all, let me guess, y'all went to a private school in high school? No comment. No comment. I'll plead the fifth. All right, read y'all like a book. All right, I got a question, though. As Notre Dame fans, what would be worse for y'all tomorrow? A Notre Dame loss or an Irish potato famine? I mean, neither are happening, so it's, you know, it's not a big deal. Listen, I don't eat potatoes that often, so I'll take potato famine. I think if Notre Dame lost. A potato famine. I don't think anyone's going to die if Notre Dame loses tomorrow. Who is the better walk-on, uh, the 12th man or Rudy? Rudy was offsides. Thank you. In the actual movie. The 12th man oh, is so man. iconic, though. The 12th Rudy, man is so Rudy. iconic. Rudy, what? But, like, Rudy's such a good movie, bro. You can't really? Was Wait, he offsides? Man? Like, Rudy also played, too. Rudy did play. But 12th man is culture. The 12th, the 12th man. man. Uh, Rudy. <laughs> I've got an Ohio State fan here. You're used to watching mediocre football. Yeah. What is it about Notre Dame that you like? Uh, so, basically. Can you think of a more intolerable fan base than Ohio State? I'm here with Josh Pate and a diehard Notre Dame fan. Can y'all give me your score prediction for tomorrow night? Oh, it's going to be 34-27. Uh, 34-27, but Ags. No. 3-0, to zero, Texas A&M. 12-2. to two. That's unique. 12 Aggies, 2 Notre Dame. Somebody check that. Would that be Scorigami or not? 20-22. to 80 to zero, Aggies. Notre Dame by seven. 
What? I'm, I'm calling it. Notre Dame by seven. And he goes to A&M. In the A&M polo? No, I don't, I don't, I don't bro, get... your sports pass needs to be revoked. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, we win in by like 20. 100-0. Say so, yeah, Ags by 100, obviously. Ags are winning no matter what, by the way. And that's on period. 35 to 50. Is that right? What is it about my outfit that you don't particularly like? I don't like that you're Irish. And I don't think that you're from AM because clearly you're dressed like a Notre Dame fan. Okay, who do you think's taller? You with like your normal height or me with the big hat? I mean, probably you with the big hat, honestly. It looks good. I'm going to give you three guesses. What am I dressed up as? Leprechaun. <laughs>